no hired employment, work ethics, politeness. No hired employment, work ethics, politeness. Okay, when you're in customer relations, forgive my French, you don't say go fuck yourself to the customer. In some lousy jobs, they do. Normally, an employee who is a screwball with the, the customers ain't going to last. If you're a screwball with your boss, you ain't going to last. If you're a dunderhead who's got an attitude problem with your boss and with your fellow employees and the customers, you're probably just not going to last. If, if you're really just too coarse and too gruff and you've got too much of an attitude problem, they're going to look for someone else. Okay? They're probably going to in some way have you unemployed or fire you directly and find someone else to do the job. It's what often happens because employees, they say it's just not working out or words to those effects. You've got to be polite. You're being paid. They're giving you money. And because they're giving you money, they expect you to work to a standard of behavior, which is acceptable. And it's called being polite. Being well-mannered, well-spoken, not too coarse, not too gruff, not rude, usually not swear words, although an interwork uh, fraternization and so forth amongst employees who are just working in a, like an office or something swearing amongst yourselves can be very normal As, you know some some employees in your branch if you're on a branch or something they won't like the swears for them but amongst your blokes and stuff like that often they don't give a damn you know that's what's done you know but in, in customer relations and with the hierarchy of administration uh, administration in your employment above you, the bosses above you. Usually your uh, language needs to be clean and not involved with dirty language. Okay. Ribald talk, bawdy talk, you can't have that as well. And in terms of politeness, you can't really be rude with sexual harassment with the other employees, with with the customers and even with your bosses. I mean, workplace relationships develop. Romances happen in the workplace. It's, I think generally what they say is usually the number one place where you do find your, your mate in life. So that is that is normal enough. But you, you really need to have a sense of appropriateness about how you get along with your job, and the people you're working with and working for. You know, you need to stay polite enough and sort of don't do the kind of stuff which is going to get you sacked, if you know what I mean, which is going to get you fired. If it's behavior which is going to get you kicked out of the organization, then you're not going to exactly get a great referee for your resume, which is your, your curriculum vitae, your details of your employment history and referees who can put in a good word for you, you know. I mean, you've got a referee on your resume, which is a typed up document and they, they contact that referee, someone who wants to employ you, and they, they listen to what the referee has to say about you. They might be contacted by a phone or by letter or by email or something. And if you have a good reputation, you'll get a good reference. But if you have an ordinary reputation or a bad one, well, that'll usually come through too. So one of the things ethically you should really keep in mind is to stay polite and stay appropriate to the workplace culture and organization that you're part of, to, to, to stay well-mannered, of good, of good humor. Stay polite, stay decent. There's no need to be puritanical usually about most jobs. The, the squeaky clean fella sometimes pisses people off more than, it, more than they like it. Sometimes the squeaky clean fella is the one they want as manager. I mean, you, you, show, you see in shows like the uh, one of those kids' cartoons show with with the, the shark and or the bromance going on and things like that. The squeaky clean fellas, the 
the manager a manager above him a level because he's, he's, he's polished and stuff but uh it's mostly a sarcastic thing that 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 cartoon that I'm referring to. I can't remember what it's called. But but usually don't be too squeaky clean. Be one of a one of a one of the boys, one of the girls. Get along with your mate. Be comrades with them. It's usually the best way to go. It's not a law. It's not a rule. Your your approach to your employment is ultimately your choice. But it's best to remain polite and to get along and. Uh, to meet the standards which the employer generally expects that you meet.